It's already kind of started, but it's it's just they haven't played each other yet, right? But the Pac-12 is starting to kind of start playing in conference, and the good games are coming up this weekend. We got uh, Oregon and Washington. Ooh. It's about time that we see if you know what teams for real, and if all, the, all these teams are just going to beat each other and miss the playoff again. Yep, which is what usually happens. It's what happened in the ACC while Clemson dominated it, you know, for a good long time. So uh, this is true. That's that's what I think is going to happen, and what's already started. And you can't help it. There's so many good teams in the Pac-12. You know, Utah's taken a step back, like we didn't think they were. Oregon State's a really good team. Mm-hmm. Washington State's really improved. So you got a lot of good teams in the Pac-12 now, and some of them are going to be beating each other. They are. Uh, to kind of give you some some aspect of what, what Fishing is talking about, I did want to go ahead and bring up just what, how tight the Pac-12 is right now. And I'm going to go through all the records for you so you guys realize how tight it is. USC sitting on top right now at 4-0. They've had the luxury of playing, well, they're 6-0, but they're 4-0 in the conference. They've had the luxury of sitting in number one and, and having some of the, the crappiest teams that they've played against, to be completely honest with you. If we if we wanted to be honest on, on how close their season has been, let's just go through San Jose State. They struggled in that first half. Yeah. They, they did. Nevada, mm-hmm. they pretty much wiped the floor with them. Stanford was another struggle in the first half. Arizona State had them on the hills up into the fourth quarter. That boy, Scatterbo, yo, I'm telling you, that dude, that dude does everything from throw the pass, run the ball, catch the ball, and punting. Uh, Colorado had them in a shootout. And then just this past uh just this past week, Arizona, 43 to 41. And y'all know I've been harping on how good Arizona was going to be this year. And their record doesn't show how good of a team that they actually are. Um, then we got Oregon Ducks, two and zero in the conference, five and zero. They're coming. <laughs> They're coming. <laughs> They're coming. Washington wow. had a scare earlier this year. They did. Yeah. But they're 5 0, 2 0 in the conference. 2 and 1 is the Oregon State Beavers, but 5 and 1 in the conference. Oh, I'm sorry, 5 and 1 overall. 1 and 1, Utah. Mm-hmm. Uh, UCLA pulled out a win against Washington State that I don't think anybody was expecting. <laughs> they're 4 and 1 in the, uh, overall. Washington State's 4 and 1 overall. Colorado has been stinking it up in the conference, 1 and 2. I think they're not going to be anywhere close to winning the conference now. Arizona Wildcats, 1-2 in the conference, 3-3 three and three overall. Even Cal, 3-3 three and three overall. I thought they were going to stink it up pretty bad this year. Mm-hmm. Stanford, 0-3 and three in the conference, 1-4 and four overall. And they've been playing teams pretty tough. And then Arizona State, which is the most surprising team, I think. 1-5 overall, 0-3 and three in the conference, right? They got a good squad, man. Kenny Dillingham is just, he's so close to unlocking the potential of this school. Oh, he just needs a roster. That's all. Yeah. That's all. That's it. Hey, uh, pull, pull that thing right up just real quick. I just wanted to say something funny. Out of the top three, who's who's the worst, right? Out of the top three. Out of the top three, USC for uh, sure. USC. USC. They played Arizona, Stanford, and Arizona State, and Ari- and they've and they've struggled against all three. <laughs> yeah, they're, and they're bottom five. <laughs> yeah, that's the bottom five. So just to give you an idea of what's going to happen in this conference, because USC won't go unscathed. I, I highly, highly doubt it. If they do, I'd be extremely surprised. Be and surprised. then, like I said, number two and number three play this weekend. So one of them yeah. is losing. Well, one of them has to lose, Aiden. Uh, they got to lose. And then Oregon State plays UCLA, right? I think so. Yeah. <laughs> it's, I love it, man. I love it. I love the Pac-12 this year. I just, I just hope that one team can come out with one loss as a as a champion. That's all. So, I do too. Yeah. Shout out to my boy DJU for going off last week, though. Just like we thought he mm-hmm. would. We appreciate you, sir. We needed that. Because we DJ. We was we was getting scared. <laughs> we was getting scared. Down bad, son. I was gonna have to take the shirts off the damn store. <laughs> we, we, we was getting scared. Dante was gonna make a Bo Nix one. Oh yeah. Oh, uh, 
It's a, we've been on the boat next stream. Oh yeah, a, yeah. Uh, man, we're going to get into that prediction, though. We got five games for you, and that's one that's definitely included this week. And uh, that's going to be game of the week. If it's not game of the week, oh, yeah. I don't know what it is. Well, that's like, what me and Vision picked for game of the week for Saturday. Literally. Yeah, we'll have to. Yeah, we'll have to. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 